See the bottom of my pay dirt don't have a gold pan. So today I'm going to show you in this pan. I'm going to use this frisbee because Russell asked me to tag him in the videos and show him how to pan. I'm going to pan into a tub so we don't lose anything. I'm confident in my panning, but maybe you're not. Using one of those bags that I sold, the same exact thing. First, you're going to want to put all your material, your pan, right just under the surface of the water. Just blow it around and around. You'll be able to see when all the material in there is moving. You want it all to be moving. If you're holding the the pan flat at this point, don't worry about losing any gold off the sides with that sand coming out. It's just sinking to the bottom. It's very heavy. So after you think you've shook it, shook it long enough and all the gold's right down, trickled down through the sand to the bottom, just start moving the material toward the front as you shake it around. Actually, let's pull it back. I already see some crystals in here. Might as well pull them out now. Ooh, look at that one. Someone's getting that nice circular. There's another one. All right, let's get back to it. The gold's in there. We're trying to get it to come right down to the bottom corner of our pan. Doesn't matter what you're using. You always want to have something with a little lip on there. And try to get your gold right down the bottom corner. You do that by stratifying, which, means, which is when you shake it around and around, the light stuff comes to the top and the heavies to the bottom. Notice the back of the pan's coming up out of the water, but the front's just still under the edge. So when we got it all worked down there, you just slowly move the pan back and forth. You can see the sand's just blowing off there. And that's all the lighter material. Shake it around some more and get that gold back down there. Flow a little sand off there. Just a little bit. You don't have to be in a hurry. See all these garnets starting to collect over there. Look at them all. Ooh, this is a nice one. Pull some more sand off there. Shake it down. Make that gold settle down in the bottom. You never, you never want to tip your pan, whatever you're using, too far. You don't want the material to dump out. You just want it to slowly wash out. Okay, when you get down to about a tablespoon or even more, if you want to take it down to a cup, you think you, you're afraid of losing gold, you can. But I take it down to about a teaspoon. I always try to keep the front of my pan under the underwater, always. doesn't matter what I'm doing. If, if my pan's flat, I keep it, the whole thing, underwater. And when you're working your light material off there, it's all about the angle of your pan. You want your material to be not quite level with the water, just where it's just starting to flow over the top and off the pan. You don't ever want anything to be able to dump over. So let's wash this back a little bit and have a look. A whole bunch of garnets. There's another Herkimer. Something there. Look at all the nice gold. There you go, Russell. I'll tag you in the video. And there you go, folks. That's how to pan gold when you ain't got a pan.